what's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If not, just hit the like button. Let's jump immediately into the topic of today's video, which is LUTs, L-U-T. Well, it literally means lookup table. What does it do? It's much easier to understand if I tell you that it's pretty much like an Instagram filter, even though it's much more complicated than that. Why do we use it? To give a touch, a particular mood, a style to our videos. And we can make our footage look more cinematic. In particular, I would like to show you and to talk a little bit about two particular LUTs. There are two of Peter McKinnon's LUTs. One is called Teal and Orange and the other Kodak Killer. Well, actually the name of the Teal and Orange thing should be Oh, that orange and teal though, or something like that. But it's a teal and orange look. Right now I'm heading to one of my favorite places to shoot videos uh, here in Parla, near Madrid. I can consider it my own outdoor studio. I like it here. I mean, it's a nice place. I love Spain. However, my wife and I are considering whether to, to stay here for good or to move somewhere else for many different reasons. One of which is the language. I mean, I can speak Spanish, but we don't actually have a life in Spanish here. That's gonna be a problem when our son Michael will have to go to school. Under these circumstances, this global thing going on around the world for the time being he can't even play with other kids at least not as much as he should so it's not learning any Spanish so if we just have to move to a different country our preference would be an English-speaking country So far, I haven't applied any LUT here. What you're seeing is just uh, my normal color correction and color grading. Let me know what you think about it. Leave a comment down below, check the links in the description and see all my gear and stuff and things. Oh, there's to say that I'm shooting in C-Log, which is the best profile if you, if you want to use LUTs. So when you shoot in log and you put the file in your computer, in your software, that might be Premiere Pro, Final Cut, uh, resolve it looks like this color correct it color grade it and make it look much better like this for example but now when it comes to choosing one particular look in this case i don't know whether to use a teal and orange or the other one called Kodak killer well first of all what's the difference between them one the teal and orange uh, looks a lot like a hollywood movie from the 90s I don't know, one movie in particular, for example, could be the Transformers. There you can see clearly a teal and orange look. So the teal and orange gives a particular cinematic look. And what about the Kodak Killer? Well, that gives a, a different touch, of course. It's more vintage-like, but at the same time, you find this kind of grading, this kind of colors, even in modern TV shows. They look different. So which one should you use? Which one should I use? For 80% of my videos, I use Kodak Killer. My second favorite is Teal and Orange. Sometimes I use both in the same footage. If you want to know how I color grade and apply a LUT to my videos, check out my playlist here and you can see how I do it. So now we're going to take a look at Teal and Orange right now. This is what the teal and orange looks like when you vlog with it or if you use a 10 to 18 millimeters EFS lens. So 
this is it. This is teal and orange. Let me know what you think about it and leave a comment down below. In my opinion is really good for filming outdoors, like nature and the sky and the green and stuff like that. Not only. Now, let's take a look at Coda Killer. This is the Coda Killer with a 10 to 18 millimeters on the Canon EOS R. This is what it would look like if you vlog and then color grade your vlog and apply the LUT Coda Killer. Here it is, Kodak Killer. I'm telling you, I am exaggerating the colors and the uh, intensity of these looks. Because when you apply it, if you go to watch my other videos about this topic, you will see that you can set the intensity of these looks from uh, zero to 100. And then you can make even farther adjustments with a different layer. Just go to watch these other videos and there's more about it. This is just to show you the difference between the teal and orange and Coda Killer. So, and again, let me know what you think about it. And hit the like button and subscribe if you ain't already. Well, I guess this is it. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day editing, filming, because I'm preparing another video because, uh, you know, something that makes our videos vlogs or whatever you shoot whatever makes them cinematic it's not just the slow motion and the lens yes those things help a lot but color grading especially with the looks and the music are really important so i'll be making another video very soon about the importance of music in our videos all right it's time to go if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video Yes.